Hey, girlfriend, how are you? Good, how are you, Darla? I am awesome. Darla here, everyone, and I'm super excited to bring you this interview of my good friend, Dee, who um, I've known just over a year, and her story's pretty incredible. And I wanna kind of bring it full circle and uh, paint a picture for you on what's happened in her life over the past 12 or 13 months. And so, Dee, your traditional background on a daily basis is a dental hygienist for how many years? 10 years for dental hygiene, yes. For 10 years. So she's been in people's mouths for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Way too long. <laughs> I know, I know. And so Dee is a good friend of my good friend, Jennifer Davis. And one day, Jennifer Davis sent Dee a card. What card was that? Do you even remember? We were roller skating together, and she just sent me a card that had our pictures on it. And what happened when you got that card? How did it make you feel? Um, when I got the card, I thought it was kind of cool that I could that it had my picture on it and her and I were there and she captured a moment. But what got me most was these delicious brownies that were sent in the card. So I end up calling her and I'm like, these brownies are amazing. Can I get some more? <laughs> so she sent me another card, but this time a bigger card with more, you know, more pictures of us and, and the brownies and I fell in love with that. Awesome. And then where did that lead? I know that um, I want I want to paint a picture to the audience here of the power of a single card and what it can happen and where it can lead to pe through people's lives. And so what did you end up doing with that feeling? Yeah. So with that feeling, um, I, I ended up asking if I could send it to my family. I wanted to be able to bring that connection, the what I felt and I received in my heart, I wanted to share that with others. Uh, not on the business side of it, I just wanted to share um, that, that, it, that feeling that I received and I asked her how I could um, to send a card the way she did and she gave me the information. Um, and from that point forward, I knew that was something that I needed as a part of my life um, because not so much of how I felt when I was having these cards created, but the feelings and the calls that I received from the recipients of my cards, like my aunt, floored me. I just, I mean, people were crying and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you sent me this card. And I'm like, it didn't take me that long to do. It's really so easy. But the feeling that they, that they had created more of a connection because I'm not really um, nearby all of my family members and friends. And it turned from just people being regular friends and passing to them actually having a, a real relationship with me. Excellent. And then from there, it leaked and bled over into your business. And how did that happen into your dental business? So, which is interesting. I, once I started receiving the, the feeling back from my, my friends and family, I, I've always been the type of person to make some type of connection with my patients. That's what keeps me in my business. It's not their mouth. It's their, their person, it's their heart. And so I was talking to a patient and she was going through something and I thought, hmm, maybe I'll, I should send her a card. So I took a snapshot of her. Um, she just looked nice that day. And I knew that that's something I can implement with cards because they, you can make them very personalized. So um, I sent her a card, but even before it received to her, I thought, this is amazing. I can really use this in my dental office. I can use this with patients. So I mentioned it to the doctor and, um, you know, like any, any doc doctors who are really busy, they, you know, just kind of said, well, we'll see, we'll see. Well, when we got the response back from my patient, it, it was, it was game changing for him. He was like, tell me more about these cards. So from that point forward, we implemented it into the office, into the system. We were able to change things a little bit of how we how we actually do relationship marketing more heavily on the relationship side and less on the marketing. My doctor spends thousands and thousands of dollars on marketing techniques in his dental office. But this has gotten us to a point where we don't do any other marketing except for personalized greeting cards. It gave me chills on my arm. True. So I didn't know that it had come that far that you guys are doing no other marketing. Yes, no other marketing at all. What are some of the responses and some of the things that it's done for business? Well, Firstly, how, what we're doing, because what we used to do is we used to send um, welcome, um, welcome pack, like a welcome package to our patient. When you think of welcome packages, you think of something amazing, right? No, this had forms, it had insurance information, policies, guidelines, what you can do, what you cannot do at our office, <laughs> that type of thing, right? So it was really about us. 
So what we've done is we still send the, the necessary information, but we also will send a welcome card. We start to make it about them. When they come into the office, we also send them a thank you for coming to our office or thank you for having this particular service. On top of that, we take it further than that. We now innately listen to our patient. If, they, if we're celebrating something in their life, if they're celebrating something in their life, we wanna celebrate it with them. Sometimes our patients have been with us for 20 plus years and we've never said, thank you for being our patient for 20 plus years, right? So we'll send them um, happy anniversary cards. Um, basically, it's happy anniversary that you're still married to us, right? Um, also, we'll, like if they're having a baby or something like that. Um, Do you we'll have some samples? Yes. Yeah. We'll send a card for, you know, the new arrival and, you know, welcoming them. And then it has our office on the back and that type of thing. So by sending them the card after the fact, the fact that they couldn't make it to their appointment today because their husband had back surgery and they get a card for that. Oh. The fact that... Right, you know, they, they um, need to reschedule something in advance because their son is going to a championship. They get a card for that. So when you do those types of things and you change your transactions and your businesses and your services, your patients now become your friends. And that is what keeps us at top of mind. And so without us even having to, to ask for a referral, they can't wait to talk about us. Yeah, that's awesome. So I know that this has also led you so, to some different directions in your business life too. You being a dental hygienist, naturally by default, you're in dental hygienist Facebook groups because everybody that's in, in some kind of trade or industry is in their group because it's like-mindedness. You guys talk alike. And I know somebody had, I think maybe somebody had sent you some toothpaste from a company or something like that, right? Because you're a dental hygienist. And you right. used the toothpaste, and of course the toothpaste made you feel beautiful, and you sent the lady a card. <laughs> right. Yes. You sent the yes. lady a card. And so now that share that part of the story and the journey of how that's evolved. So not only have you got all these customers that are using your service for sending cards because they love their cards, but now this has led to a new chapter in your life. Um, the system has opened new horizons for me, not only in my, my, my professional life as, as being a dental hygienist and how our office has changed. And they actually look at me as their hygienist, like, wow, you've really brought something amazing into our office and it's changed a lot of things. It has changed my personal life as well. Um, me being in the dental field, um, I am in different dental networks um, and just so that you can grow your craft and, and, and stay on top of, of learning things. Um, I did meet a lady, her name is Tori, and um, I didn't know who she was or what was going on, but you know, she had this toothpaste stuff and I was like, what is this deal with the toothpaste? Um, and so we ended up connecting and it was just basically a transaction. But because I sent her a card um, cause I thanked her for it. She spent time with me and, you know, she gave me information that I knew nothing about. I ended up sending her, um, a personalized greeting card and sad to say at that time, she was going through a hard time in her family because it's on Facebook and her stuff was very, um, open. And, um, it, I remember it touched me when I saw what was going through with her cousin and I, I remember crying, making her card so that I can send it to her. And it's just from that point on, we just had a, a, a very deep connection. A relationship, a new friendship. A, it, 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 and it's so funny because these cards take you from the head to the heart. You know, a face, if you would have done a Facebook post and said, oh, sorry, whatever, it wouldn't have made the same effect that it has made to build this relationship instantly. Like to just go from acquaintance to deep seated, rooted, true, good friend, good human being. And so now, that has led to a whole new door of things opening <laughs> because right. I understand now you got interviewed with this company to uh, talk about how you're making these relationships. And so now what's happening with the next chapter? And I've met so many amazing people, other hygienists, stay at home moms. They come from all walks of life. Right. And just meeting these relationships, I, I want so much to just connect with them because they're so like of mind because of our, our just everything that we have going on together um, that they've now, you know, wondered how was it that in this business with me just getting started that I'm moving rather quickly um, through this business. So they're like, what is going on with this? What's going on with Tori's team over here? So that we've kind of implemented this system. So we've been wanting to, to share a little bit more how that works. 
all these opportunities and doors opening and because what's happened by you starting this 12 months ago so in 12 months look at how much your life has changed from when i met you yeah right? yes. it's incredible you know really? you've got multiple streams of income and you've got you're being interviewed and you're being you're going to be written about in books now and your teeth yeah. are wider and <laughs> your business is bigger <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've been able to change people's lives and add value and you've raised the vibration and the harmony in your life by that one card starting that you sent 12 months ago and then you back it up what if jennifer had have never sent you that card that's true I, it's true and and think about where it's come now um and if i can I'd, I'd like to to kind of express how i'm able to use these cards with what i do now that's what i want you to do yes thank you yeah okay so the dental office side we had, but now coming over to um, being in business. Um, all these times I've been helping the doctor who I love so much build his practice and build his dreams. Now it's time to build mine. And so that kind of changes things because now I've come more into a, a leader. Um, and so different things are expected of me. Um, and so basically like in our company, there are, um, different avenues so we have the team that you need to take care of then you have the customers that you need to take care of um, and that type of thing so with the team um, we are able to get a lot of um, rank advancements um, and that happens pretty fast with this team and so how one of the things that i like to use to to to, um, to connect is because as teams grow fast you want to make sure that you have a connection with them because they grow so fast you get to a point where you don't really know everyone who's on your team um, and someone from, uh, from the company, um, her name was Julie, she mentioned how over a short period, er, period of time, the team grew so, so big that she knew no one on it and they didn't know her. And that's not what I want for my team. I want my team to know me. So in order to do that, what I do is I send, you know, welcome letters to the team. They change, they vary, just whatever snapshot I decide to just load onto the card. And then it will have a message on there um, that basically just says, you know, introducing who I am and so that they, they know that and I'm here to help. So that's one way. And the reason why is because we already have the addresses uploaded into our back office. It's just easy just to just hit the button and, and get that going. Um, also, as teams grow on and, and move on into rank advancement, um, I send them cards too. Um, for them for their own advancement that has its personalized picture and it just says well you know you've hit executive or this type of thing um, which makes things a lot easier um, for us to 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 connect with them and nowadays we're getting to a point to where um, I have found a little trick where um, a lot of times we'll write a note and we'll put it on social media and we'll put a note on social media and I'm able to just instead of spending the time to 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 write the message I'm already writing the message for them on social media. So I'll just grab that snapshot of what I wrote on social media and just drop it onto the page. So I'll just snapshot it, drop it onto the page. You hit, um, you know, the next rate advancement and it'll have like the comments that was on that page and I'll just drop it into there. So that makes it a lot easier too. But as we continue to go, you know, the best is yet to come. You want to keep motivating your team. You can set it up to where you have a campaign that automatically, without you having to even think about it, it drops in motivation or however I want to say. There's something special just for that industry, um, so for our direct sales that will just do that. So it's just so many opportunities. But the other thing I want to say too is some people already are writing cards, but they want to use their own handwriting. So what I love about this system is that you can do that. So this is my handwriting. Um, I didn't write it but it basically floats my font um, over. Um, and so I just pick, I just select that as a font. So there's so many things that we're doing. You, you know, can, I, can I interject a little tip on something very powerful that is also this system allows you to do? <clears throat> it's, there's always spouses and family members that aren't supportive because it's change and it's different and it's non-traditional. When you can send a card to a spouse to tell them how grateful you are for their spouse or what a rock star they are, or send them a card that they can display in their home that shows them doing great things. It lends for credibility and visual aid, like a third party tool for them to be able to use in their home. I know just this morning, I got a call from my mom who was teary eyed 
who got a card in the mail from my friend Elaine White, who's on my team. And she's like, I got a card from your friend Elaine White, and it's just the cutest card, sugar, and I got to read it to you. And oh my gosh, you have the nicest friends, and blah, blah, blah. And I think, gosh, if I would have had this tool when I was building 10 years ago, when friends and family didn't understand, it could have mm-hmm. taken, you know, down walls and barriers with love oh. and kindness. Well, I I need to add to that. And if I don't take a moment to to talk about that, that's really important. I have to say, I have to say, when you're in building mode and you're trying to create uh, leveraged income and you're trying to create different opportunities, you do do a lot of work um, for the first couple of years. Now, it's not going to kill you, that type of work. But I mean, you're busy a lot more. And I'm so glad you brought that point up. Because that does happen, especially as, as us women, we're building these teams, our husband needs us for this, our children need us for that. And sometimes the people who we're trying to support the most feel that they're not supported. And with saying that, you did teach me that early on. And I have this card. And this card, I wrote to my husband. And it says, it isn't a card. And on the inside, it says, it's a hug with a fold in it. Now, why did I send this card to him? Because on this particular type of business, sometimes I have to be away for a day or two. Sometimes I'm, I'm gone, um, you know, for leaderships and things of the sort, or just I've been busy. And if I take a moment, I just want to read what it says. So I'll share a little insight of my personal life. It says, hi, babe, even though I am miles apart, I wanted you to know that I miss you. I know you are at home working hard on our house and I appreciate you more than you know. Love you and we'll see you soon. Have plenty, oh, there are plenty of hugs ready for me. Um, your one and only love, D. Now I sent this card to him before I left, before I left to go on my business trip. So he received this, though I wasn't in his arms, he knew, he was home holding down the fort, but he knew that I cared about him and I loved him. And I respected him. So that was right. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I know. Right? Thanks, Steve. <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, awesome. I sent this out to hundreds of moms, friends of mine. And I just went to the store and I, we were walking through the store or we were somewhere and I grabbed these flowers and I said, take my picture. And I thought, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. And it says, from my heart to your hands, the first ever bouquet of flowers that never die. As a matter of fact, the less you water them, the longer they last. I hope I made you smile today. Happy Mother's Day. And made out to their name in my handwriting, all that sort of stuff with my signature. And I can't even tell you how many women called and cried telling me this was the only Mother's Day card they got that their own children don't even send them a Mother's Day card. They send them a text or a post. And that's still to this day, I still get text messages from people that say, can you believe your flowers are still alive? (laughs) (laughs) you know I I tell people all the time these cards are nothing more than a uh, vehicle that carry you into somebody's heart so what's the message you know Mm -hmm. when I went to Mother's Day at my mom's I had taken this picture and put it on Facebook but when I got home from that trip of that weekend what was waiting in the mail was this that someone had sent me and it made me cry and here it is the same picture but because it was in a form that I could touch and put my hands on and see, it made me cry. And I'll never forget Jordan for sending me that. It just was the nicest thing ever, especially from who it came from. You know, it came from a millionaire. So a millionaire took the time to send that to me and that's, you know, nothing for them, but it's everything for me. And so it's a way to just be able to make that connection. And, you know, a little bit of my backstory is how I found this system. I, someone telling me, you gotta send a card, you gotta send a card. And I thought cards were silly. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. I used to send cards back in my salon days and I had retired 10 years ago from the salon world and I was done with that world. And I hadn't sent a card in probably 10 years, like for real. And so this person just kept after me and after me and after me until finally they tricked me. They invited us over for a barbecue and a couple margaritas later, he said, okay, we're going to send a card, you know, as a joke, just to get me to send a card. And so I said, okay, I'll send a card. And he already knew what he was doing. He's all, send it to your mom. Put some pictures of Bella. Because he knew my mom was in her 80s and didn't have social media or a cell phone or no, mm-hmm. she didn't see us. You know, I, it didn't hit me. Mm-hmm. And when my mom got that card and she called me in tears, it just hit me like a brick that this is a vehicle that everybody needs in their life. It's a tool. And so, 
it's evolved for me hugely, you know, and then the connection, I, I built my salon on cards. We sent, nice to meet you. Thank you for the referral. Haven't seen you in a while. Happy birthday. We sent cards all the time. And we always said, one, wouldn't it be so nice if we could put a before and after picture on a card, but it was impossible back then because technology hadn't evolved. But this is what that would look like today. This is a Facebook post. That's all it is. Before and after of a, someone getting their hair done. But I can guarantee you this is a lot more impactful on that person than that Facebook post is now. Yes. And then it's in my own handwriting. Yes. And it's never going to end up in the trash. And the person's going to see how cute they look with a fresh haircut and come in sooner. Their friends are going to see it and say, oh my gosh, I didn't know you used to have long hair. That's so cute. Who does your hair? You know, it's just, it's a tool that uh, because of technology, it's made things change and evolve. And you can do so many wonderful things with it. We just got back from um, France and Paris and Spain and all that. And this is a picture of our daughter. And I wrote on the top of it, jumping for joy in the streets of Madrid, Spain at 14 years old. You know, who can say that they've done that? And it's just a card with a little story on the inside of it and pictures of the group of us on the back. But a, a new quote was born for me during this time. And it says, work harder on your relationships as you do than, than you do. At, work as hard on your relationships as you do making money because time, freedom, and money are worthless if you don't have anyone to spend it with. Think about it. Some of the wealthiest people in the world are lonely because yeah. they've worked their whole life and had no time to build relationships. And so that's what this does. So Dee, is there anything else that you want to say? I just love this. Um, what we do and what, what it is that I do, I, it, I don't have time. I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of things. And I get that the cards are great, but without the system being the way it is, it would just be something that's great and I wish I could do and I wish I had time for. What I love about this is what, what I'm doing now revolves me being on my phone just about all the time, right? <laughs> um, this is something I can do on my phone. That is the most important part with me. Is It's just a touch of a button, hit, send, gone. I don't do any of the late work. I don't send anything in the mail. I don't, um, like for instance, this, you would think that I did all of the work and, and I baked brownies. <laughs> you would think that was all me. So if someone gets this card in the mail, now the person who who I who I ended up doing this as a as a demo, she's she's not this yet, but one day she will be. <laughs> she's a person who's near and dear to me. And when she does, when the person ranks this, I, this is waiting on them. When they get there, they will have their card ready to go. That's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's a great that's a great idea. I love it. Excellent. Well, Dee, thank you so much for this. I love your journey. Twelve months. Just imagine if that first card had never been sent. You know, it's just crazy. So let's backtrack it. Jennifer Davis got a card from me. Isn't that a full circle? I wow. sent Jennifer a card. Jennifer fell in love with cards. She paid it forward to you. And then you paid it forward to Tori. And Tori, uh, oh, no, you paid it forward to your doctor's office. Mm -hmm. And you are then paid it forward to Tori. And now Tori wants to pay it forward to all of these other people on her team. And it's just growing and it's evolving from there. That's right. crazy. Yeah, it's opened a lot of opportunities. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. One card. One card. <laughs> In 12 months. You have the power of one card. All right. Well, I appreciate you so much. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and then uh, we'll continue our conversation. 